starting the week off right, trying to get back in shape because I feel lazy and fat. My goal is to do a couple miles a day, three days a week, so nothing too lofty, and then maybe work my way up from there. It's a really nice day today, so I'm gonna try to get in a decent run. And we're also having those Sloppy Joes for dinner again tonight. So definitely need to burn some calories there. <clears throat> we'll see how this goes. I can't say I'm looking forward to it, but as with all exercise, I'm looking forward to the results. Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy Star Wars Day. Daniel just went on a run. It is really nice outside. He said it's like 67 out, and so he wanted to get out and go running. So I'm just gonna finish getting ready for the day. I think I'm gonna make brownies again, cause we have brownie mix and we've been really wanting dessert the past week or so, but we haven't had any. So figure, you know, tonight, Star Wars day, we'll celebrate with some brownies and then make dinner and then it'll be time to finish our marathon. I am so excited to watch The Rise of Skywalker again. You have no idea. It has my absolute favorite scene in it of the entire saga. <laughs> anyway, so I am super excited for the movie tonight. When I woke up this morning, Daniel came in and showed me his phone and he pulled up Disney Plus and there was The Rise of Skywalker. It said play, so it's on Disney Plus. We're just hoping that because it is Star Wars Day and this one just was released to Disney Plus today, we we're hoping that <laughs> Disney Plus doesn't crash while we're trying to watch it. I would be so sad if that happened. Anyway, I'm gonna finish getting ready, get to work, cause I have to do this before movies can happen later. So I'm super excited. All right, just got back. Definitely not my best time ever for a first day back. I feel pretty good about that. I was really just hoping to be under a 10 minute mile. Optimistically, I was hoping for eight, but nine and a half isn't too bad for a first day back. Daniel's home from his run and- <laughs> Did you miss Tim so much? What? <laughs> that was you. You did that. Daddy. <laughs> I missed you. He was whining at the door while Daniel was gone. And he came back here and laid in his favorite spot and was still whining while he was gone. <laughs> so Daniel finally came home and Juju was so excited. All right, well, I went running this morning, as I said, and now I'm gonna get in a workout. So I don't know if I'm crazy, or just motivation is really high today, but feeling good. I like the way this week is starting and I'm excited to get back into it. Before quarantine, I was used to working out for like two or three hours a day. So it's kind of nice to get back to that. Maybe tomorrow I might feel differently. Last day of the marathon, finishing up eight and nine, crazy. We're we're both, well, Steph's more prepared for this than I am, but she's got her ray hair that she did. And then I've got my Chewbacca socks. Here we go. Just finished episode eight, so it's time for the last episode, The Rise of Skywalker. Okay, before we started though, we saw episode nine in theaters, and I don't think besides Marvel movies, I don't think there's been another movie where I have like grabbed you so often <laughs> and like looked at you <laughs> like, what? 
Yeah, we would have walked right, like turned around and oh walked gosh. right back into the theater and as watched soon it again. As the movie ended, we were silent. Like we <laughs> barely looked at each other. We were silent, walking all the way out to the car because <laughs> we literally didn't say, didn't a, say word a word until all the we, way to the car until we sat down in the car. As soon as we got <laughs> the car, closed the doors. We both looked at each other and like lost our minds. We were like, "Oh my gosh!" <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm pretty sure if we hadn't gone so late at night that oh. the theater had literally closed, we probably would have gone and Walked saw it again. In. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite movie of the entire series. You might have a different one. This is my favorite movie of the entire series. Also, this has my absolute favorite scene in the entire series in it. You know what the one I'm talking about? Um, is it the one with the lightsaber? Yes. Right. I don't want to like spoil it if you haven't <laughs> seen this yet. Woo! I, mean, I can get this without spoiling it. For everybody who's seen it. It's the scene where Ray and Ben share a lightsaber. Uh-huh. And there's like so much stuff in this one that is so nostalgic and like harkens oh, back to the yeah. original like original original trilogy yeah oh that's it's... why i really like this movie oh it's so good okay let's go i don't want to watch it <laughs> here we go <laughs> been kind of a whirlwind. I've had meetings with my kids, meetings with my team, other people at school, phone calls with people at school. So it is 12.20. I am eating breakfast <laughs> and <laughs> hopefully this afternoon will calm down a little bit and I won't have as much going on. I wouldn't complain if the afternoon went just as fast. I just don't want to have so many things happening like one after the other, after the other, after the other. Anyway, happy Cinco de Mayo. We're having Chinese food. Yeah, we're having Chinese food and we don't have anything to make margaritas. So we prepared real well for this. TBH, we were more focused on Star Wars Day. Uh, yeah, we were. Yeah, we were more excited about Star Wars Day than <laughs> Cinco de Mayo. This little guy is not interested in coming inside at all. Come on. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on, Juju. Yeah, you know you're so cute. You're ridiculous. Come on. <laughs> no, Mom. Speak. Go, boy. Daddy lured him inside with a treat. <laughs> you are so silly. We are kind of redeeming ourselves for Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> we have zero Mexican, Mexican anything, except that we are watching 
Coco. Yes. So to redeem our Cinco de Mayo, we are watching Coco. And eating Chinese food. And eating Chinese food. <laughs> this is the best we can do today. Watching Coco. <laughs> Water, Chinese food, and a kid's movie. And a kid. <laughs> Happy yes. Cinco de Mayo, everybody. Woo! <laughs> it's like 10.45. Steph is in bed. And I'm going to get in a workout. <laughs> I was planning on getting my workout in earlier today. Like seven hours ago or something. Who even knows? But I've had... So, <laughs> backing up. Our basement has been a disaster for weeks we recently updated a bunch of our furniture and so all of that old furniture just ended up in the basement and our basement looked like a friggin yard sale before quarantine i had listed a bunch of our furniture on let go to try to sell some of it but then i wasn't really actively trying to sell it anymore because it wasn't trying to unnecessarily meet up with a bunch of people. But this week I kind of just snapped and I was like, all right, some of this stuff has got to go. So I hopped back on there. I slashed a bunch of prices just because I needed to get this stuff out of the house. And I had posted those a little while ago and hadn't really gotten any hits on it. So I had reorganized the basement yesterday to try to make it just a little bit more functional. And then Today, I had someone message me to buy our old entertainment center. So I spent the entirety of this afternoon reorganizing our basement again. So it was literally, I've reorganized our entire basement twice in 24 hours. But I did sell the entertainment center. That's gone, which is awesome because that was such a big piece of furniture. I also ordered some storage shelves today on Amazon that should be coming next week because my next big project down here is to sort through and organize our storage room because that is also a disaster. I really want to clean that up because it is a hot mess. <sighs> for anybody who knows me, this is not a surprise, but for people who don't know me that well, I am like a huge, like, neat freak like monica from friends i don't know it's just like it bothers me when there's like big messy areas anyway yikes this is like super long but so long story short i spent the entirety of today reorganizing our basement again instead of getting a workout in so it's like 10 45 and i'm getting in my workout but yeah stay tuned for the exciting storage room reorganization saga because i'm sure that will be wildly entertaining All right, second day running this week and it is disgusting today. It's cold, it's like 50 degrees or something like that and it's raining. I don't, I can't tell on the camera, but. <sighs> Powering through, get her done. Hello everyone, it's like Kermit. Daniel went for a run this morning and I've just been working and when he got back, he had to help me film something for school. All of the staff at my school were all filming short little clips of us dancing to make this video to send it out to all of our kids so that they can see all of their teachers and everybody from school dancing and having fun in this video. So I got Juju to dance with me. <laughs> and if Daniel still has it, he can put the clip of it in here, but He just, Juju just wanted to play downstairs and he got so confused when I picked up his feet. <laughs> um, but it was cute, he did it. So I, he got a treat for it because he participated and helped me out. Now I'm about to eat some breakfast and get back to work at three o'clock today. Our governor is coming back on during another press conference with the superintendent of schools. So I'm gonna be watching that very closely. Oh. 
I just finished my HIIT workout and I'm dying. Oh my gosh. It wasn't even that long. It was like 15 minutes or something. And whew, I am dripping sweat. That was a good, good workout. That is the video I'm going to be posting on Sunday. I almost said Friday. Sunday is this HIIT workout that I just did right now. Um, it is insane. Again, it's super short, but if you actually give 200% into this workout, it is great. I feel dead right now, but good. Look out for that on Sunday. I will be posting that. And if you try it, tag me in it and let me know how you like it. It should be really good. I am, I'm dying right now. I'm gonna go get some water and my protein. Whew. So, <laughs> a couple updates since I haven't been on here very much today. First, schools have been closed for the rest of the school year. I'm glad that they made that decision and announced it today. I just finished making dinner. I made the mozzarella pasta again that we made last week or the week before. We doubled the amount of mozzarella cheese because, I mean, the cheese is the best part. More cheese, please. <laughs> also, because I've had a couple people ask about the cheesesteak sloppy joes and the frozen peppers and onions that I used the last time I made them. The frozen peppers and onions worked really well in the cheesesteak sloppy joes. So if you want to save yourself some prep time, just buy frozen bell peppers and onions and throw those in just like you normally would in the recipe. They worked just as well as the fresh peppers and onions. I just let them cook a little bit longer than normal to kind of cook the water off. So I would recommend using frozen peppers and onions. We're going to sit down and eat and I think we're gonna watch Big Little Lies because Reese Witherspoon is like Daniel's favorite actress. That's my boo. <laughs> And we've heard really good things about it. So we're going to start that and see if we like it, see how it is. We're getting ready to start like a whole slew of new shows. <clears throat> Do well, okay. Like, yeah. We're going to start Big Little Lies. I kind of want to try Little Fires Everywhere. So just rock the entire Reese Witherspoon <laughs> library. Yeah. And then we were talking about, well, you were talking about Orange is the New Black. Uh -huh. Handmaid's Tale. Handmaid's Tale. Maybe Bob's Burgers. We've heard from our favorites, Tyler and Jessica, <laughs> that... It's really good. It's really good. So, a whole lot of drama, and then Bob's Burgers. And then Bob's Burgers. And then we have Space Force coming out in a couple weeks. Space Force on Netflix, on Netflix. with Steve Carell. Sounds interesting, <laughs> but I am... <laughs> it could be a disaster. <laughs> it could be... Oh my gosh. Or it I'm, could be really funny. I'm not getting my hopes up. <laughs> I'm gonna go yeah. into it with really low expectations. Yeah. So, so we're gonna be starting a bunch of new things i am not tall enough to be in the <laughs> anyway yeah yeah we're gonna eat uh-huh a and lot TV. of food uh -huh. and a ton of cheese <laughs> because life is short eat cheese good advice do, do, do. all right there is literally so much cheese we that we're using scissors have to cut. <laughs> to oh. Cut it. <laughs> oh my it Oh. All right, for anybody trying this recipe, doubling the amount of cheese, definitely an amazing idea. Yes. Do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.